friends, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to Song Sprints. This is session number six. This is song number two for the day. This is the 10th of August in, Jul- in, in July. This is the 10th of August in July. This is the 10th of August in 2024. If you are new here, then what happens is basically I just try and make a song, as many songs as I can in one day or in one kind of session. The reason that I do these songs or these these things called that I call song sprints is to try and get out of a rut, to try and stop myself being, um, you know, it's a really good way of just trying some new things, trying new genres, trying different techniques, that kind of stuff on the fly, and allowing myself to fail, allowing myself to not make everything perfect. I think it adds some authenticity and not trying to sweat the the finer stuff and try and get every single note perfect and all of that kind of stuff. Let's just start with uh, track number two. So let me bring up Pro Tools uh, and make a new track, and this is 006.02 because it is session number six. This is the sixth week I've done a live stream, uh, and this is track number two for the day, and we are going to have something a bit more peppy. Peppy sheep. <laughs> Why not? Oops, not peppy. Uh, peppy sheep. I'm not going to have this, this silly pun that is peppy sheep go bananas uh, as much as I want to and could. I'm absolutely not going to do that. Um, bananas, right? Uh, bad, Chris. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, let me see. Peppy steps. Peppy steps. Yeah, when you've got a step in your pe- a pep in your step. I've got peppy steps. There we go. That'll do. Why not? Peppy steps. Oh, look. Off my feet. Peppy steps. Maybe it's a foot theme um, this week. Uh, so what am I going to have? I reckon I am going to, no, I want an audio track and I reckon I'm going to have my Novation Nova as a starting point. Uh, That's okay. And how's that for level? I might just, uh, I think this is left on the same bass tone that we used on our last track. Uh, track five, number one. Yeah, I think that did have some Nova in it, didn't it? What was that called? Hmm. I can't remember. It was a whole week ago. Crikey, you expect me to remember that? I mean, I'm liking the tone. What I'm saying is basically I'm just going to keep it because even though it was left on that, I, I'm still kind of digging it. So maybe we just try um, arpeggiating it a little bit. Oh, I actually kind of like that. No, you know what? I mean, it is one of the default presets in the Nova. The the arpeggio to pattern is one of the, um, and I'd normally want to change it up, make it a little bit more exciting, do something a little bit more kind of interesting with it. But I don't have time for that. Yeah, let's just uh, see what we can do. Two. Now what I might do is change the arpeggiator. Oh, turn it off. Oh. No, 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 no. Maybe the first chunk of this was interesting. I kind of like that break. Doing the double note on there is kind of interesting. Okay, Dory. I'm actually going to keep that. I'm going to start with that as a starting piece anyway. I might just try and chuck some drums on it from Ableton or something like that. Yep, chuck one of those on there to go with that. And this one here, that bouncy techno thing can go on this one. Actually, we might just swap them around over there, so put those two down there, put all of that up there, so that when we go in here we go. And then we go to this one. Okay, let's do something else now. Let's go completely off these guys. Actually, that's kind of a thing. Sure. I'll 
chuck them all into um, another track. I realize that I haven't got anything that looks like a reasonable arrangement or anything like that. Early days, right? That change is coming up soon, isn't it? I think I might actually go on this one. Sorry, this is boring, but we just need to lay up some drums that I can do some other things over. Look, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. I think we need to change out of that Nova piece there. Maybe I just need to actually record these drums in, get them out to an actual track. Okay, hitting record in there. Okay, and I'm just gonna record these beats in so that I can edit them up easier later. And one of the reasons for doing that is that um, with the Ableton Live link, when I've got them linked, it always takes an extra bar to be able to kick in and start hitting play. And I basically just find that annoying. We're certainly gonna need some other elements in this shortly, aren't we? I think we want an arpeggiated um, something or other, so we'll just use Analog Lab. We'll just flick through a few presets and see if we can't find something that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna work for us, eh? Don't like any of that. Timing's a bit weird. Oh, I'm liking that there. I am liking that there. Okay, we are definitely gonna add that little element in there. Okay, that's gonna go there and why, I seem to have, what is this note here? I seem to have a stuck note. What even is that? I might just uh, quantize that lot just to, just to make sure that we're spot on because if those are out of time, then everything's gonna go whack. Okay, so I kind of like that bit there, that's fine, that's, um, I'm going to call that B-boop. Okay, well obviously that's one element that I've just ended up taking up that I thought was going to be something else, so I need that proper arpeggiator thing. <laughs> boop, 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 is the kind of what I'm, what I'm after, I'm thinking. Um, so let's just go into Analog Lab again. An hour into the stream, actually, I've got a minus 15 minutes off that, so three quarters of an hour, and I've only got like two or three elements in the thing. Okay, that is for restorating. Okay, back to Prottles. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. You can hear that. Okay, so it was like the 1248 got its knickers in a twist somehow. Thank goodness I didn't have to do a reboot and all that kind of thing. Right, now we are listening to some Analog Labs. Hi, welcome back, folks. <laughs> Crikey, uh, that was a little frustrating for me, but we're going to go with it. Um, yeah, thank goodness for edits, eh, because I'll be editing all of that crap out. Yeah, that's already sitting better. Keep it like that and maybe make it a bit more interesting on the next one. That mucky piece of MIDI down there. I don't know what you are, but you gotta go. Everything must go. Oh man. And it's a C minus two. Now there's there's a weird I wonder, I wonder if I know what this is. We need to clean up our inputs because I think what's happening is that the MIDI out from my microphone controller track, this one here, should only be going out there, out to my auto mute channel one, but I wonder if this chain um, or the, this, the these instrument tracks actually pick that up accidentally. It's quite likely. Uh, there's too much going on in the drums in here. There we go. 
Yeah, should we get that all the way out of there? Maybe, 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 maybe. We'll just see what this does. Yep, I like that. It's strange. We're keeping it. I mean, I'm kind of just tempted to just, right, do, do, do uh, actually, where do they kick in? Uh, directly after that, actually, just like so. Uh, we can get rid of that puppy. Okay, so if we're coming in here with this, do you know what? I'm kind of tempted because I know that this is a polyphonic, polyphonic ARP. I'm kind of tempted to actually do a crazy kind of duplicate. Yeah, maybe. What happens if I take it down instead? Up or down, what do we reckon, kids? I kind of preferring it up, actually. Yep, we'll just sit on that one for, for a moment. What are we at? Two minutes of song. We do that thing twice. We do, do that. We do this thing. And then we break into that thing. And then we've got that little weird breakdown thing. And then we come back into our thing. But we don't have as long. So how long is this? I think this is probably eight bars up. So I don't want to be in shuffle mode. Crikey, that would... Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I up and down it? Yeah, you broke my brain. But now we've got triplets. And that's exciting. So I'm going to keep that. Thanks, friend. Let's see what this does. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, I'm actually going to add some wacky Moog, I think, into that bit that's lacking at the moment. Um, so let's just do that. Let's bring in my Moog channel here. I should get rid of those last two notes in the, that one. I'm thinking this thing, this bit in here is probably going to get filled up with some vocals or something. I'm hoping. Let's just try this thing again. the end of our song. <laughs> oh, coffee, that's right. Mm. One o'clock in the afternoon coffee. That's going to keep me up this evening, I know. Actually, I must say that usually I'm pretty exhausted by the end of these sessions, so um, I sleep really well on Saturday nights. <laughs> sure, I'm just um, trying some wacky wackies on this. I'll just try the uh, phase mistress on here as well. Okay, I'm thinking I need some vocals or something in here. I think I'm going to sing into an LA tour. Oh, actually, that's the Bomb Factory one, isn't it? No, I didn't want the Bomb Factory one. I actually wanted the, um, the Waves one. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, that's cool. 
Hey, what about you? Wow. Um, that's probably enough to sing into at the moment. Um, but what am I singing about? What am I got? Peppy steps. Okay, that oh, tired of my shadow. That's what the last one was called. We are on 006.02, and this is called Peppy steps. This is uh, very different to our last track, isn't it? Spring in my step. Spring in my step. Help me forget something. My blur blur. Dum, dum, my blur blur. Head. On my tour, so I'm just thinking of words that fit, that'll time out. Spring in my step, help me forget head on my torso. No, I'm not not so keen on head on my torso anymore. <laughs> I'm just trying to rhyme it, and I'm like, um. <laughs> okay, uh, action. I'm thinking action. Something my action. Reading me, reading my reading my action. Uh, feeding. Feeding my feeding reaction. We're gaining traction. Let's just see if that does a thing. Do I want to go harmonizer direct on the track there, maybe? Um, A minor. Harmonic minor. Oh. Okay, now I wonder, can I automate on this my key? Harmony control my key. Key root. Right there. So in theory, because I'm only going between A and F, right? Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so I can see where it's going to drop down, right? I could be a little bit clever about this, we think. Okay, so that's A. This is going to be an F, A, F. Just try laying it down and see what happens. Yeah, um, you know what? Sure. Okay, this one I'm not going to have the Harmony engine on for the moment, um, and I'm just going to go into the next chunk and see what we get. Uh, maybe that, maybe the chorusy things. <laughs> needing my, maybe it's needing my, needing my. Let's just uh, see. <laughs> Got a la I've got a wayward knee on the end of one of these. That one there. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so let me just do a quick panty panty on these so that we can um, make them sit a little bit nicer. And I just want to chuck you through a silica because that's going to give us lots of nice crunchy, gritty. Bring up the top end of you. Put you through some wacky wackies. That's a thing? Okay. Yeah, that's just taken all the guts out of it, which is what I kind of wanted. Okay. Need my coffee break? Yes, I certainly do. <laughs> and then I'm just going to commit this track here only. Source tracks hide and make an act, I think. Awesome. And now I've got a um, my BV tracks all with their effects on them and no more latency issues, I believe. I don't know what's going to happen in here. I don't know what's going to happen in here. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to do a soaring thing over there. Not like me at all. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put it through like... One of those. Yeah. Maybe a big verb on it? Yeah, there's way not enough reverb on that. Uh, actually, maybe we go the black hole verb, but also some delay before I think we get there, and that's just going to make it like wide and 
big and that kind of thing. Yeah, let's just go a mono echo boy. Yo! <laughs> I think that's a bit more interesting. Okay, we've got another one of those, haven't we? <laughs> I'm keeping it. With my coffee, I feel this peppy step without my coffee. I got no peppy step without my coffee. I got no peppy steps. Yeah, without my coffee, I got no peppy steps. You, you, uh, you've done it, guys. You've given me, given me, given me my lyric. Without my coffee, I got no peppy steps. I've got no peppy steps. Okay, so thank you for the lyrics. I'm probably going to make like six vocals, and I'm going to go C H box. Without my coffee, I got no peppy step. Without my coffee. Yeah, no. Maybe in there. Without my coffee, I got my peppy step. Without my coffee, I got my peppy step. Just realised I've been singing the wrong backing vocals all the way through that. I've got no peppy step is what I should be singing, and I'm saying I've got my peppy step. Anyway, whatever. We'll stick with that. Yeah, okay, sweet. Um, now I just need something for these holes. Need something a bit more interesting in here, don't I? Um, just gonna tidy. I'm just gonna vocal line these. Uh, you guys know the drill. Just make sure that everything's in time and it just them up. I'm gonna put some percussion on this. Where are we at for time wise? Two hours of actual record time. Crikey. There'll be a tambourine, there'll be a shaker. Um, so let's do a shaker first, I think. Without my caffeine, I got my baby step. Step. You know, I think I kind of like that, but I'm going to kick it in in our hole because we need more stuff in the hole. Yep, okay, sure. I think that's the end of our track. Um, we need some, that hole. Uh, actually, let me just chuck a decapitator on the percussion track because that makes things good. That's us there, yep, okay. Okay, maybe I'm recording more Nova bass actually. I think that might be what I'm actually up to. Uh, let's just duplicate that and you're still using the same tone, I think. But I think remember how I got it down to the without the um, without the arpeggiator on it. So maybe I'll just sit in there and see if I can't find a. Is there anything interesting I can do in? Yeah, there is. So I'm just going to whack that resonance right up there and uh, see if I can't make it a bit more kind of interesting on the thing. I think all of this is okay.
think that's our song. I think that's our song. And I'm going to call that the end of the song right there. End. Do we have a start? I think I don't know whether I got a start or not. I don't, didn't get a start, no. I'm going to say, that's our start right there. Um, I think mix-wise, I'm just going to kind of leave it where it's at. I'm just going to chuck the mastering plugin on it and almost call that a, a thing for the thing. Um, I think I'm probably up for one more track today. What I am missing is I've got this and this and this that all need um, to go into a rhythm bus. So I'm just going to do that very, very quickly. There we go, that's sort of doing that a bit more. Wow, that vocal. This thing here. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to appreciate that for a minute before we uh, go and bounce this thing out. Okay, that's the end of our track. Uh, Peppy Steps, there we go. Hey, thanks very much for joining me on this stream. If you're watching the edit, then coming up straight away after I've finished this little talky bit, you'll be able to listen to the entire the, or the track in its entirety, all finished. We'll catch you soon. We'll catch you on the next one as soon as possible. That was Peppy Steps.